conservatives need to start realizing that the left is anti-Christianity. Hi, former Republican hype girl here myself. I just want to let you know that conservatives already think that the left is anti-Christianity. I was taught that narrative my entire life. I believed that Democrats and anyone on the left was against God and against Christianity and that I would get persecuted when I would stand up for my faith. But I was very outspoken for Jesus my entire life. In public schools, I had Jesus signs on my locker. I did prayer meetings. No one said anything to me. But interestingly enough, the only time I've ever started receiving hate and persecution was when I started being more outspoken about my faith, but not in a Republican way. When I started calling out Trumpism and nationalism, you would not believe the type of hate that I've received from Christians, not big bad atheists, Christian conservatives. When I got out of the conservative groupthink, I did realize that the left is anti-hate and anti-bigotry. And if that's what your Christianity is about, I'd be more concerned about yourself. You know, I seldom say this, but I'm on the side of the um, hype girl. I feel gross. I. It's the worst phrase. But she's right. Right-wingers have always said that the left is against Christianity. And it has always been the dumbest argument ever. You know why? Because the left is just as annoying as Jesus. They're always like, oh, why can't we just do the right thing? Ah, oh, why can't we help those in need? It's disgusting. The left is like Jesus in matters of justice. Jesus said, blessed are the merciful. Forgive them, Father, they know not what they do. Similarly, the left's always advocating for mercy. It's either sentencing reform, rehabilitation over incarceration. It's total Jesus crap. Ugh, gag me. In terms of wealth, the left is just like Jesus. Jesus said, quote, you cannot serve both God and wealth, a book written by a guy named Matthew. He also had this, it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Jesus basically advocated for Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax and then a bunch of weird stuff like legalizing illicit substances. The left wants to legalize like weed and other drugs. Pretty sure that would fly with Jesus whose blood is literally wine. And you think Jesus is not into hallucinogenics? Have you been to a church? And Jesus Christ comes again and Every eye will see him when he come again. It's a bunch of priests like placing crackers on people's tongues like it's a tab of acid. Most of church is just like getting up and standing and sitting, standing and sitting and rocking and praying. It's like very much like people on a meth. And when you think about it, the right is the group that is totally not like Jesus. Jesus said, to one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. You think right-wingers do that? No, right-wingers are like, you You touch my cheek? Forget the gun. Get the bullet gun. Let's use bullets on them. Forget hitting a cheek. Like, if you ask them politely to put, like, a mask on part of their cheek, they'll be like, I am going to shoot you. Sorry, I want you to wear a mask. I want you to wear a mask. No, I'm not wearing the mask. This, this is not very Jesus. And, of course, there's the elephant in the room full of elephants. Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Meek means unassuming, it means humble, it means nice. Have you seen conservatives recently? They all rally around Trump. <laughs> who like is mean and opulent and the opposite of meek. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. Trump is the least Jesus-y person in the universe. People on the right are always saying like, Jesus was all about family values. Trump's divorced like seven times. Jesus said, treat others like you would want to be treated. Jesus would not say countries. He wouldn't do that. The right is the opposite of Jesus. Jesus said, my temple should be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And he got mad at people making money off the church. I can't even count the number of preachers like Jim Baker who have been convicted in a court of law of defrauding their parishioners. Taking all the money and buying like huge jets, it's sick. And if that's not enough, they're anti-Jesus in very petty ways. Like Jesus wore sandals and like for the last week, all the right has been doing has been talking trash about flip-flops. They would have hated Jesus. He was like, give your money to the poor and do charity stuff. They would have been like, lock that guy up and let's get some tax breaks for the Pharisees. The only thing about Jesus these self-proclaimed right-wing Christians have adopted is the martyr complex. They all think they're under attack. They just tried to silence us. That's how they operate. Do you want your friends and family to be persecuted by the far left wing? Or do you want to defend our history? 
our heroes, our faith, our values, and our treasured American way of life, which is what we have. Y'all are about to have a panic attack. It's essentially an oppression Olympics. The rest of the Bible seems to be lost on them. Oh, I guess except for the line that says, let there be light, which she took to mean the light of a tanning bed, which she can't stay away from. Look, what color are you? You need to stop. I'm Brett. Watch more videos whenever they upload them. Thank you.